recording from our homes, it's things to talk about. Good morning, Jags. Today, we're talking about inspiration. I'm Sanjita. I'm Ethan. I'm Allison. And I'm Brielle. We've got a lot of things to talk about, so let's get started. Given our current situation, many of us may be feeling a little down. It's nice to be inspired once in a while. So we have a few inspirational quotes we'd like to share with you all. Act as if what you do makes a difference, because it does. Another inspiring phrase is, you're always one decision away from a totally different life. Inspiration can come from anywhere. Allison, why don't you tell us more? Sure. Never a failure, always a lesson. We really hope these quotes brighten up your day and motivate you. Speaking of inspiration... Memorial Day occurs on Monday, May 25th. Originally known as Decoration Day, it originated in the years following the Civil War and became an official federal holiday in 1971. Many Americans observe Memorial Day by visiting cemeteries or memorials, holding family gatherings, and participate in parades. Memorial Day is one of the holidays where we have a three-day weekend. This means that you will not have to put in attendance for any of your classes on Monday. Although it may not seem like a real holiday for some, Memorial Day is an important day to celebrate. This Monday, take a few minutes to thank the Civil War veterans. If that isn't possible, then thank any veteran or people who are a part of the military. Memorial Day is all about the people who have done a great service to this country. I'm sure many of us are familiar with Marvel superheroes, like Captain America and Iron Man. But let's test your knowledge and see how much you really know about Marvel with today's trivia questions. Let's start off easy. Our first trivia question for you today is, who is the leader of the Avengers? I'll give you five seconds to answer this question. The answer is Iron Man, also known as Tony Stark. Our next question is, in Spider-Man Homecoming, what does the M in MJ stand for? We'll give you another five seconds to answer this question. If you guessed Michelle, then you are correct. Now we will be asking some harder questions. Hey, Ethan, what's the third question? What was the first ever Marvel movie? And when was it released? We will give you another five seconds to answer this third question. Did you say the movie Howard the Duck, which came, in, which came out in 1986? If you did, then you are correct. Our very last trivia question for today is... In the movie Infinity War, what are the two Ben and Jerry's ice cream flavors named after Iron Man and the Hulk? Once again, you will have only five seconds to answer this question. The answer is Stark Raving Hazelnuts and Hunka Hulka Burnin' Fudge. Since we're already talking about Marvel, why don't we tell you about the great show that you can watch that's actually also produced by Marvel. We highly recommend watching Marvel's Runaways. The show features a group of teens that are trying to unveil the truth about their parents. Discovery after discovery, these teens from LA embark on an adventure like no other. There's drama, action, and you're sure to stay hooked. In total, there are three seasons that can be streamed on Disney+. Plus. So when you have time, go check out Marvel's Runaways. Speaking of recommendations... We have a book that we'd like to recommend for you to read. Spoiler alert, it's about a Justice League hero. The book we'd like to recommend is called Wonder Woman, Warbringer. The book is about Diana, Princess of the Amazon. She will become one of the Earth's greatest heroes. But how? A mortal known as Aelia Keralis is aboard a ship 
for a semester at sea. Little does she know that a brave act committed by Diana will reveal terrifying secrets about her past. To see what happens next, don't forget to read Wonder Woman, Warbringer. We only have four more days of distance learning left. But that doesn't mean you can't earn Jag swag. You can earn virtual Jag swag in lots of ways. Like by putting in your attendance every day. Or by attending office hours for one of your classes and asking questions. Since it's Friday, it's time for a virtual Jag swag poll. Let's go to Mrs. Kincaid and Mrs. Zoo to see who this week's lucky winners are. Oh my hey! God! Hey! So great to see you, Mrs. Zoo. It's so great to see you. Mm. Our last week of uh, drawings. Yeah, that's exciting. Mm -hmm. So should we just get right into it since everybody knows what we do? Yeah, I think so. We're going to start with the pizzas, right? Seventh grade, seventh grade only. Yeah, absolutely. Seventh grade pizza, it looks like we've got 487 names, and number 20 is getting a pizza this week, and that would be Malin Ramirez from Mrs. Clarine. I know Malin's family. Oh my gosh, can't wait to talk to the Ramirez family. Ramirez family. That's and pretty Ms. exciting. Clarine. Yeah. What? Okay, and eighth then grade. eighth grade, we have... 365 okay. and number 302 is our pizza winner this week and that is going to be Ashley Sarabia and that is from <laughs> Mrs. Hart oh Miss Hart giving it out right on <sighs> Ashley is one of the most talented artists and digital artists I have taught I am so oh. happy <laughs> oh my gosh wow okay, yeah I'm she's fantastic. incredible I need to see what she looks like okay I mean, she made this movie poster. It was just oh, the dog movie. It was great. Okay, uh, Aggie Seven. We're looking for a sticker pack winner. Okay, sticker pack winner is number three, and that's going to be Matthew Chen. Thank you, Miss Jane. Oh my gosh! This is the first time Miss Jane has won, and I know Matthew personally. Awesome. All right, Aggie's eight. Aggie's eight. Let's do this. And that's going to be winner number 77. So fun, Jessica Reeves. Oh, the Reeves family. Hey, we've got some old school families that I like know all yeah. the kids. All Tote. right, Jessica. Okay, and so that is going to be Sticker Pack and also Miss Augusta. Oh, Miss Augusta. Okay. Okay. Perfect. And 80 on the Bears. It's going to number 57. And that is Michelle Huynh from Mrs. Clarine. Oh, Miss Clarine. Back at it again. Right on. Yeah. Hornet 7 receiving some fun mail. It's going to be number 268. And that is Jaden Pugh from Mrs. Lewis. All right, Miss Lewis. You're going to be hearing from me again. So fun. Mm -hmm. And Hornet 8. 209 this week. Eight. Oh, J Hart. And that is number 130. Ryan Dyson from Mrs. Hart. Oh my gosh, I guessed it right. <laughs> Based on your numbers, Miss Hart, I kind of had a feeling. Okay. And That's hey, I liked guess. how you print. I would have said Dizon, but you said Dyson because you know. Mrs. Well. <laughs> It's a seventh grader. I mean, I can make a good guess, but I do think it's it's Dyson. No, Jay Hart is an eighth grade teacher. Oh, okay. Well, then I do know it. Yeah, I, you do know. I pronounced them. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, number 136 is 28. So I got to go scroll way up for this one. And that is Brent Rodriguez from Miss Holtz. Woo! Woo! Holtz <laughs> has won every week multiple times. Yeah. Okay. And 24 on the Tigers 8 team. And we're going for number 3. And that is going to be Joseph Bendor from Mrs. Welch Daniels. Oh, Miss Welch Daniels. Right on. I've been in contact with her a lot, too. Well, All right. We, we've had a really successful PBIS term for Lots okay. of prizes, lots of student recognition. So proud of all the responsible and respectful students that we have. Yeah, and you know what? I have to say, it has been super fun. 
calling for the pizzas. Everybody is so grateful. And then sometimes I even get texts back saying, hey, thanks uh, for the pizza. So I think that's amazing too. You know, you know what? It shows that they're kind. And of course they are. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Have a good summer. Yay. Okay. Bye. Congratulations to the lucky winners. Make sure to stay safe, respectful, and responsible these last few days. We've showed you many origami tutorials during these past few weeks. Are you ready for another one? This Friday, we'd like to teach you how to make an origami lotus. like a fun activity to try. As we head into the last few days of distance learning for this school year, you might still be having a few questions about how to use some of these new communication tools. That's why we'd like to show you some of the features on Zoom. Thanks for that tutorial, Priyam. It's super useful. We all have been stuck at home due to sheltering in place. And it can get really boring at times. So we have some suggestions on things you can do. You can write a book or poem so you can express yourself. A personal favorite of mine is to bake or cook, especially when I'm bored. A good way to let go of your feelings is by talking with your friends. You'll feel more relaxed after chatting with them. Another way to stay busy is by drawing. You can draw pictures using your imagination, or you can draw things around the house. There are so many ways you can stay creative. Something that can be beneficial to you in your house is organizing. You can clean your room or anything, really. This can help with stress or boredom. That will keep the house clean, and it's something that can keep you busy for a while. Learning something new is always fun. You can learn how to knit or sew, how to code, or you can learn something new by taking a walk around your neighborhood and observing nature. There are so many things to do. All you have to do is explore. Another form of entertainment is by watching TV. As we had mentioned earlier, a show you can watch is Marvel's Runaways. Of course, there's plenty of other shows to watch, a variety for all ages. You can also read a book. We had recommended a book to read earlier. There are thousands and thousands of books out there. You can always read a book that you have in your house, or you can read an ebook online. Our last suggestion for you today is playing sports. Although many courts and fields are closed, there are still other ways for you to play. 
You can play basketball in your front yard. You can practice tennis against the wall. It's amazing how there are so many ways to play sports. Well, it's been fun talking with you guys today. Same here. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Things to Talk About. We'll see you next week. More things to talk about. Bye.